Hey, what's going on everyone? For today's video, I thought we'd talk about the 2019 Chevy Silverado. Now this past weekend, Chevy revealed the all new Silverado at the Texas Motor Speedway. The truck has a radical new look, but we still don't know a whole lot about it. What are the new features for 2019 and what exactly does the interior look like? Well, in this video, I'm gonna do a complete rundown of the latest information on the truck and I'm also gonna give you my thoughts on it. So with that being said, let's get started. On December 16th, 2017, Chevy held an event at the Texas Motor Speedway. The event was held to celebrate 100 years of Chevy pickup trucks. There were several old Chevy trucks on display, and they also had a lot of activities going on. But what was about to happen next was completely unexpected. From out of the sky came a large helicopter. And what was it carrying? The 2019 Chevy Silverado. The truck was carefully placed on the ground and was then rushed to the stage. The president of Chevrolet introduced the truck to the audience. He said this is only a sneak preview of the truck, and that all the details would be officially announced at the 2018 Detroit Auto Show. But he did tell us a few things. First off, the truck trim we were looking at was the LT Trail Boss. This trim level combines the package of the Z71 with a 2-inch suspension lift, and I have to say, it looks so much better with that lift. The president also said the truck will continue to be constructed with steel. This kills the rumor that the truck will have an aluminum construction. And the last tidbit he gave was that the new Silverado will be available with more models, more features, and more engine transmission combinations. Now this is very exciting news, but it leaves us craving more information. So let's go over some of the things we do know about the truck. After the announcement, Chevy revealed three images online, and they show us a few angles of the truck. So let's take a look at this first image. Now the first thing that really stands out to me is the front fascia. If we compare it to the old design, we can see that it looks much more modern. I feel like this image doesn't do the truck justice. It doesn't look as good here as it does in the video. The next thing I noticed was that the wheel arches are now rounded. The previous generation had squared off openings. So why did Chevy make this change? Well, people are speculating that the change was made to allow larger tires to fit on the truck. Just look at how beefy those tires are. It appears that the tires on this model are Wrangler Duratrex. I bet this truck will be a lot of fun off-roading. Now let's take a look at this next image. The first thing that stands out is the Chevrolet logo embossed in the tailgate. This is a look that's starting to reappear on a lot of other trucks. Ford did the same thing with the 2018 F-150. And Toyota has the same look on their Tacoma. I think the logo suits the truck well. Next, let's take a look at the bumper. There's a couple things you'll notice. The first thing is that the steps are a little bigger than the previous generation. This will make it easier to get in and out of the truck. The next thing you'll see is the integrated dual exhaust. It looks like it cuts into the bumper. And do you see what's underneath the truck? It's a Rancho off-road shock. This truck will definitely be good off-roading. Another thing worth mentioning is the new shape of the taillight. If we compare it to the old design, we can see that it takes on a whole new shape. In this last image, we can see both the front and rear views of the truck. It looks really nice, but we still don't know what the new interior will look like. Now, it's great that Chevy revealed this truck early. We finally get to see what the new design will look like. But we still don't know what the new interior will look like. Well, fortunately, earlier this year, spy photographers spotted the truck out in public and they managed to take some pictures of the interior of the truck. So let's take a closer look. Earlier this year, a spy photographer spotted the 2019 Silverado in public and somehow he managed to take these images of the interior. Although there is a lot of camouflage, there's a few changes we can spot out. To start, let's look at the steering wheel. We can see that it has a four-spoke design and the bezel looks a little bit different. There also appears to be toggle switches on the steering wheel, which might have been added to make it easy to go through menu options. Now we'll look at the center stack. As you can see, it has an all new design and the screen shows what appears to be the latest generation of MyLink. Another thing worth mentioning is that this truck appears to have a column shifter. Many companies have switched to dial and console shifters, but it looks like Chevy is gonna continue to use the column shifter. So as of right now, this is the only image we have of the new interior. And although it is hard to see everything, we can expect to see more changes at the Detroit Auto Show. So after looking at all the new images and videos of the truck, I have to say, I'm a fan. I think it looks really good. Chevy has taken a good looking truck and made it even better. One of the big rumors flying around about the new Silverado was that it was gonna take on an aluminum design. Now, when I heard this rumor, I thought it was absolutely crazy because why would Chevy release a new truck with an aluminum construction when they made so many commercials putting down the F-150's aluminum construction? Well, as it turns out, that rumor was completely false and Chevy will in fact stick with the steel design. And although they are continuing to use the steel construction, they did say that they're gonna use a new steel alloy that's supposed to make the truck a little lighter. So that'll be interesting to see how much lighter the truck actually becomes. If any of you guys are considering buying a new pickup truck, now's the time to do it because 
all of the major companies are changing their designs. Ford has the new F-150, Ram is coming out with a new design, and of course Chevy is coming out with a new Silverado. So if you wanna have the latest look with any of those brands, now would be the time to get one. Anyway guys, this has been my in-depth look at the new 2019 Silverado. There's gonna be more information coming out next month, so be sure to stay tuned for that. I'm Neo Auto, thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to keep up to date with the latest car news, and I'll see you real soon.